In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate times interest earned, which is also known as the interest coverage ratio. So let's say a company had earnings before interest and taxes of $500, and they had interest expense of $100. That company's times interest earned ratio would be 5, which is just the $500 divided by the $100. And the larger this number is, the bigger the times interest earned ratio is, the better able the company is to make its interest payments. Now, there are a couple different ways that analysts would go about calculating times interest earned. One way is just to take a company's net income and then add back interest expense and income tax expense and then divide by interest expense. But another way is to take a company's operating profit and then divide by interest expense. And you might be thinking these are very similar, but actually, it, th so they are close, but bear in mind that by adding net income here, you're going to be including non-operating revenues. Non-operating revenues are going to be included in the numerator here. And then in this method, you do not include any non-operating uh, revenues. Let me show you with an example. So let's take a look at Netflix, at their actual financial statements, and we'll calculate their times interest earned. We'll, we'll do it for 2018. Okay, for the fiscal year ended uh, December 31st, 2018. So we're going to calculate it each way, and I'm going to show you how it's different. So if we take the net income plus the interest expense plus the tax expense, we've got, so th these numbers are in thousands, so we've got a little over $1.2 billion of net income for uh, Netflix in 2018. But then we're going to add back the interest expense, okay, so that 420 $420 million of uh, interest expense is going to get added back. And then we've got income tax expense of a little over $15 million. Okay, so we've got $15 million here of income tax expense. That's our numerator under, we'll call this option number one way of calculating this. And then we're going to divide by the interest expense, which again, we, we've already calculated. We've got that right here. Okay, so if you do that, you get to a times interest earn ratio of 3.92. Now, the other way of doing it would be to look in the numerator at operating profit, operating income, which is about $1.6 billion. So if we do it that way, we take the $1.6 billion and then divide by interest expense, you're going to get a slightly different number. You're going to get 3.82. And why is there a difference here? Well, notice the operating income does not include, not only does it not include interest expense, or the income tax expense, but it also doesn't include this non-operating revenue. The company had some interest revenue, which is a non-operating item, so it's not including that. This isn't being factored in when we do option number two. Okay, So these are just two different ways to calculate this. Every analyst is going to have their own way that they prefer uh, to calculate certain ratios. For example, an analyst might even say, well, look, what I want to do instead of using $420 million of interest expense in the denominator, maybe they would like to do option two uh, where they've got the operating profit in the numerator, but then in the denominator under option two, maybe they say, well, I'm going to take interest expense and I'm going to offset it by the interest revenue. Okay, so then it would be less than $420 million because you'd say, okay, well, $420 million of interest expense for Netflix in 2018, but they had $41 million of interest revenue. So you could you could actually net those two together. That's just another way of doing it. Again, every analyst is going to have their own specific way that they like to compute the ratio.